Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with the miserable liberal and Ron Placone. Hi, Jimmy. Hello. Ron, November, you're going on tour. Where are you? I am. In November, I'm going to Sacramento, San Francisco, Austin, Texas, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Tickets available at ronplacone.com. All right. Uh, so I saw this. The Huffington Post tweeted this out. It says, Stormy Daniels says Trump took a call from Clinton and they talked about our plan. Huffington Post. Donald Trump once received a telephone call from Hillary Clinton when he was in a hotel room with Stormy Daniels. And the pair talked about our plan. Daniels reportedly alleges in her new tell-all book, Full Disclosure. According to British newspaper The Guardian, which has obtained a copy of the book ahead of its October 2nd release, Daniels writes that she was watching a Shark Week broadcast on TV with Trump in 2007 during their alleged affair when he took the call from Clinton. (laughs) They're watching Shark Week. Former porn star Daniels claims Trump and Clinton spoke about her race for the Democratic presidential nomination against then-Senator Barack Obama, and Trump repeatedly mentioned our plan. But his attention kept going back to the sharks. (laughs) (laughs) As it will. No way! That is, oh my God. It wasn't clear what the plan involved, however. And that's that. (laughs) What could our plan be, I wonder? Our plan. So it just goes to show you that uh, Donald Trump was normalized by the establishment. Donald Trump is not some crazy outsider. Donald Trump is the establishment. Do Do I need to show you that picture again of the Clintons and them all hanging out? Do you know their daughters are best friends? Um, I don't know. Just, what do you guys make of this? I'm curious to know what was involved in the plan. I'm I'm gonna have to read the book now. <laughs> I really got. I know. I gotta know. That's funny because I'm curious what I missed on Shark Week. <laughs> That's really what well, that I, goes without saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Of course, I'm curious about that too. Trump repeatedly mentioned our plan. But his attention kept going back to the sharks. <laughs> I know we have the best plan, but this great weight is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the chest. He's got three sets, three rows of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I, I don't know what else to make out of this, except just, again, um, it's a big club and you ain't in it. It's a big club, but you ain't in it. These are billionaires and millionaires talk, 100 millionaires talking to each other about their plan. And then Bill Clinton had a meeting with Trump right before he decided to run. Everybody says Bill Clinton encouraged him to run. Why? Because they wanted to run against Trump. They did, and they lost. That's the Pied Piper strategy. If you don't know what that is, the Pied Piper strategy was Hillary Clinton's campaign got all their minions in the press to prop up Donald Trump because she wanted to run against him. And what did they do? They prop, They showed They showed half-hour, hour-long news shows of his empty podium. Ed Schultz told us, told us before he died that the head of NBC News was joined at the hip with the Clinton campaign, in his opinion. He was given direct orders not to cover Bernie Sanders. So this whole idea that Trump is an anomaly and blah, 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 blah. So that's one, one, one somebody who said super predators and re- referencing teenage black kids, super predators, to another guy who wanted to, uh, to jail the, the uh, Central Park Five who were innocent. That's, that's their conversation. Hey, how's the super predators? Do we lock up those kids yet? So I don't, to me, that's what, that's what I come away from this with. I don't know what our plan was, but it doesn't even matter. It just goes to show you they're buddy-buddy. Their kids are best friends. This, this is all theater now. And 
you know, her her calling half the country deplorable. Is there any what's more deplorable than gutting welfare at the same time you explode the prison population and, and you take food away from poor kids and then you and then you deregulate Wall Street, which hurts black and brown people the most? Who's deplorable now? You. <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> we te- we peel Glass Steagle. You crash the whole economy. Okay, uh, there it is. That's super. I, to me, that's super interesting, and it just reinforces everything we've said here. There's one party in this country with two right wings. Please make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are subscribed, there's a good chance you're not. So please check. It only takes a second. And then click that bell. And that's how you know you'll get a notice every time we drop a video. They still won't notify you every time we drop a video, but that's the best we can do. Plus, if you like the show, you want to support it, please become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And come see a live show. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for our live schedule.